what's up everybody welcome back to the fish hook youtube channel just want to say thank you for all the support lately we've gotten if you haven't subscribed yet uh please hit the subscribe button it helps us out so much but today i'm going to be explaining how we've been catching a lot of shoal bass lately and uh, i don't have dad here with me he probably uh knows a little bit more about it than i do he's caught a lot more shoal bass than i have but if you want to skip to the fishing part of this video uh, you can skip to this timestamp right here because i'm going to be doing a lot of explaining on how we've been catching these shoal bass today and how i've been catching them specifically but first i'm going to talk about how shoal bass bite and the bite is a lot different from a large mouth or a spotted bass or any other kind of fish really and uh mainly for that is what they do is they'll sit up under rocks mostly i have seen some shoal bass roaming around uh typically i can't get those to bite but pretty much all my bites has come from a shoal bass coming up out of a rock grabbing it and swimming literally right back down underneath the rock that's how pretty much all my bites have come they like to sit up under rocks um literally like underneath rocks if there's uh, enough of a overhang or a ledge um so yeah that's pretty much how i've caught it. that's how they bite like what i've been catching all these shoal bass on is this is a five inch cinco um it's a yum dinger it's the watermelon i believe this is the watermelon green color it's a really natural color i have caught some on the blue that's like my favorite color it's like a black and blue i think it's called the june bug color but this is a more natural color and i kind of have more confidence with this in the creeks just because of the natural color and i have gotten more bites on this but basically all i'm doing is i'm just letting this cinco just kind of float past like right on beside a rock and if there's a shoal bass usually i'll get at least one bite from that shoal bass um another way that i haven't uh really tried yet but my dad has been catching them on crawls and helgramites uh two really natural looking finesse baits that uh i feel like those fish see a ton in the creeks um so dad's been catching them on those i've been catching them on this um yeah it's it's pretty much that simple uh you know like i said if you if you know there's shoal bass where you're fishing and there's a lot of rocks that's probably where they're going to be you need to target those rocks and uh along the ledges of the rocks you'll get a lot of bites doing that but yeah that's pretty much how i've been catching them just on this uh green cinco it's really not a whole lot to it but uh, these two catches I catch in this video, uh, we weren't there for long, so I only got to catch two, but uh, it's pretty pretty good for not having a whole lot of time. We've, we've been doing a little, a little more shoal bass fishing. Uh, in the past, we've not caught any shoal bass, but that's because we didn't know that there was shoal bass like this close to us. We found a spot that has shoal bass in it and uh we've been going there and figuring out how to catch these fish and they just bite totally different they bite different than a large mouth or a spotted bass or even a small mouth bass they just they're they're unique in the way that they bite and feed and they're they fight so hard honestly like a shoal bass like a one pound shoal bass compared to a one pound large mouth it's honestly like night and day how they fight it's so cool, so fun. But uh, yeah, that's enough of me talking. That's how we catch them. Just floating, the, floating these on past rocks. And uh, you know, you can see the action. I mean, just like holding this, it just uh, shakes. But when you drop this worm beside a rock, 
it has the most like natural presentation like it just floats down and the tail just like shakes just like it's doing right there and it just like flutters down and that action they can't resist that like they just they can't and with the crawfish you know the the pinchers are doing the same thing they're just fluttering down and with the helgramite it has so many legs and appendages that they all just flutter down and that that little flutter action uh just creates so many bites and strikes uh, it's really crazy so we hope you guys enjoy this video if you do again hit the like button hit the subscribe button it helps us out so much we're about to go to the beach in a couple weeks do some beach fishing and some surf fishing videos that's always so much fun so stay tuned for those and uh, we just hope you guys enjoy this video i think there's like a spot where you can stand a little farther down Might be good over there where it spills out. Uh. <laughs> I'm just gonna go right out there. I like this natural color right here. I see a little huh. Oh, he just got it yeah he got it i saw him come out and get it ah oh, he wanted that one how about that and guys that was my first cast with the green color so if that tells you anything it may tell you they want more of a natural color than the blue color, but that's a pretty shoal bass. Man, I saw him come out from underneath the rock and he just swam down with it. Those are so, fun. so aggressive. But like they put up a fight. Like even this guy, he he's not that big. But dude, fight, it's like crazy. Appreciate you, buddy. Show bass number one. <laughs> on the green color, that was my first cast on the green. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he was out here in the middle though. I saw him just like come out from underneath a rock and just grab it. Like that, most of the time I'm watching my line, but that wasn't even like a line watch. That was like, I saw him. Come and get it. And I set the hook and he was there. Like largemouth, they... Dude, is that, is that him? He just turned on a bluegill. That's a fish right there, I see. He's right there. Oh, bring it back a little more. Right there, he's right there. He's right there. Tell me if you see him get it. Oh no, I saw him flash right there. Dude, they're like, they're feeding, bro. Dude. He got it. He got it. He had it, bro. He had it. Dude, that felt like a good one. Bro, are you still there? That was the one. I That's the one I saw. I know. Dude, I think my drag's too late. Like... There maybe several right here. Nah, there has to be because I, I, I literally got bit right there. And that, you may want to switch to a wacky worm because the the they're biting that right now. Like, dude. I think he went down to get it. He got, he got, oh, did he have it? Dude, I saw him swimming with it. Dude, and that's not even like a bad one. Like, we should. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Nah, he's feeding right now. He wants it. Dude, if I get a good hook set on him one time.
that's a fish worth catching. No doubt about it. Dude, I know. Oh, was one? Yeah. See, no, that's a bass. That is 100% a bass. Catfish, dude. Oh, I got one. Got him. Got him. Come here, buddy. Show bass number two. Ah, oh, so much fun. Ah, oh. definitely a different fish. It's got a smaller body, but dude, show bass number two. That time, that one was over there in the right corner yeah. back there. Sweet. I was sitting here watching ladies, they were like munching on something, dude. I'm just like right there in the middle. See, it's like, I can change, but they're already hitting the wagon, man. Huh? 